Hi, I'm Pure Excellence, the most important political mind this side of the United States. But let's just explore this idea. I'm gonna pass it to my homeboy, James. James, go ahead and take this one. One, stimulus lighthouse alert community presents, Trump authorizes Emily Murphy, in charge of authorizing shift, to Biden administration is refusing to sign it off amidst worries of disorderly handover of power. The Trump appointee in charge of starting the official shift to a Joe Biden-led administration has actually so far declined to approve the required documents to start the procedure, raising issues over whether there will be a smooth transfer of power. Emily Murphy was tapped by President Trump to head the General Services Administration, the company in charge of federal buildings. By law, if a new president is chosen, the GSA administrator is required to sign documents that officially hands over millions of dollars to the shift team of the incoming administration, officially introducing the handover process. Since Sunday night, nevertheless, Murphy has actually not signed such a letter despite the fact that it has been more than 36 hours considering that major news organizations predicted Biden to be the obvious winner of Tuesday's election, according to the Washington Post. An ascertainment has not yet been made and its administrator will continue to abide by, and meet, all requirements under the law, GSA spokesperson Pamela Pennington, a spokeswoman for GSA, informed the Post. A spokesperson for Biden's shift team stated, Now that the election has actually been independently called for Joe Biden, we eagerly anticipate the GSA administrator without delay establishing Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as the president-elect and vice president-elect. The spokesperson added, America's national security and economic interests depend on the federal government signaling plainly and promptly that the United States government will respect the will of the American individuals and take part in a smooth and peaceful transfer of power. The Presidential Transition Act of 1963 is the law which governs the process by which an incoming administration slowly assumes the reins of power. It mentions that a prospect becomes president-elect when the GSA administration, in this case, Murphy ascertains that it is apparent they have won a majority of electoral college votes. Trump has up until now declined to concede the election to Biden. The president has actually declared that the election was rife with voter fraud which the presidency has been stolen from him. So far, no evidence has been produced to support these claims. Trump's project has taken legal action in hopes of revoking the election results, though those efforts have up until now been not successful. Trump administration officials like Murphy appear to be taking their hint from in charge. No firm head is going to get out in front of the president on transition problems today, a senior administration authorities informed the Post. The official informed the Post that it is believed agency heads across the federal government will be informed not to talk to Biden transition officials. The United States has actually seen other narrowly decided elections, especially in 1876 and 2000, but this election was not historically close, stated William Anthalus, a former White House official throughout Democrat Bill Clinton's administration who now heads the University of Virginia's Miller Center think tank. Trump has long shot of flipping tens of countless votes through recounts, Anthalus said. Legal professionals stated the cases the Trump campaign is bringing likewise are unlikely to change the result of the election. The Biden transition group already has access to federal office at the Commerce Department, as insured by the Presidential Transitions Act, however cannot access funds for wages, consultants and travel up until the GSA acts, stated Martha Joint Kumar, director of the White House Transition Project and author of a 2015 book on earlier shifts. Biden's campaign has raised some funds for that function, and had a jumpstart on the shift process offered the former vice president's long experience in government, she said. The delay in setting in movement the shift implies that the Biden group will not be able to get a head start on administrative matters like getting government email addresses, office, and governmental documentation like monetary disclosure documents. Emily Murphy was called by Trump as head of General Services Administration. GSA is an obscure company that supervises of handling federal buildings. By law, Murphy is accountable for ascertaining winner of governmental election. Doing so releases $9.9 .9 million in funds for the Joe Biden transition group. But as of Sunday, Murphy has not signed documentation to initiate shift procedure. Trump has actually up until now refused to accept outcomes of Tuesday's election. Biden was declared winner of the election by major media outlets on Saturday. Trump, who has alleged scams, signified he means to combat the results in court. Democrats were outraged by the Post report of Murphy's refusal to approve the shift paperwork. Her action now needs to be condemned, said House Representative Gerald E. Connolly, a Democrat from Virginia and the head of the Subcommittee on Government Operations. It's behavior that is consistent with her subservience to dreams of the president himself, and it is clearly harmful to the organized shift of power. 
Another House Democrat, Eric Swalwell of California, tweeted, What a nationwide disgrace. Murphy is blocking Biden from planning a peaceful shift of power. Your voice matters like your vote mattered. Make it clear. Swalwell's tweet included the hashtag hashtag time to transition. Biden consultant Jen Psaki pushed for Murphy to quickly recognize Biden as the president-elect, which would maximize cash for the shift and clear the way for Biden's team to start putting in place the shift procedure at agencies. America's national security and economic interests depend on the federal government signaling clearly and promptly that the United States government will appreciate the will of the American people and take part in a smooth and serene transfer of power, Saki stated in a Twitter publishing. A bipartisan group of administration officials from the Barack Obama, George W. Bush, and Bill Clinton administrations on Sunday called on the Trump administration to progress to right away begin the post-election transition procedure. House Rep. Eric Swalwell, a Democrat from California, called Murphy's rejection to sign the documents activating the shift a national disgrace. House Rep. Eric Swalwell, a Democrat from California, called Murphy's refusal to sign the paperwork activating the transition a national disgrace. This was a hard-fought campaign, however history is replete with examples of presidents who emerged from such projects to graciously assist their successors, members of the Center for Presidential Transition Board of Advisors said in a declaration. The declaration was signed by Bush White House Chief of Staff Josh Bolton and Health and Human Services Secretary Michael Levitt as well as Bill Clinton-era Chief of Staff Thomas Mac McClarty and Obama Commerce Secretary Penny Pritzker. Biden signified on Sunday he prepares to move quickly to construct out his government, focusing initially on popular pandemic that will likely control the early days of his administration. Biden named a previous Surgeon Basic, Dr. Vivek Morty, and a former Food and Drug Administration Commissioner, David Kessler, as co-chairs of a coronavirus working group set to begin, with other members expected to be revealed on Monday. Shift team officials stated that also today Biden will release his firm evaluation groups, the group of shift staffers that have access to key agencies in the current administration to ease the transfer of power. The groups will gather and review details such as budgetary and staffing decisions, pending guidelines and other operate in progress from present staff at the departments to assist Biden's group prepare to shift. White House officials would not comment on whether they would comply with Biden's team on the evaluation.